there are various simulation options in ArtCam. So far, I have just shown you how to use the default simulate toolpaths, but you can tweak the settings and also show the tool moving if you wish to do so. In the other toolpath videos, I have been right clicking on the toolpath and simulating. This is just my personal preference. You can also do it by selecting toolpaths from the project tree and then below 3D toolpaths, there is a simulation section. The first icon will simulate all of the toolpaths. This will open up a dialog, which at the bottom will allow you to choose the resolution of the simulation, either fast, but low quality, right up to high detail, but will be slower to calculate. Select simulate and ArtCam will give you a simulation of the final part that will be produced. If I then select simulation from the project tree, it will give me some options below the splitter bar. I can also access these by right clicking on the simulation in the project tree. I've zoomed in on the center of the relief so we can take a look at the simulation in high detail. This gives more surface marks so I can see exactly how this is going to look when machined. A vector can also be used to simulate within. Just create a vector and choose to simulate inside vector for block dimensions. You can also enter a custom resolution. Here I'm entering 25 pixels per millimeter, which is almost double the high detail option. I'm going to speed this up for the purpose of the video as it takes a few minutes to produce this. You can simulate each toolpath separately from the project tree. Just right click on the toolpath and simulate. You can even expand the toolpaths and do this for each tool. When the simulation is complete, you may want to remove the waste material. You can do that by selecting delete waste material, which will open a new dialog on the right. ArtCam is usually pretty good at determining what is waste material, but sometimes it may delete something that you want to keep. So you can always keep picked material or delete picked material. To do this, just click on the area that you want to delete or keep. You can always undo this if you get it wrong. To close the waste material, select the top right cross on the dialog. Below the splitter bar in the project tree, there is also a rendering section. This allows you to add a depth color, so any area that has been machined will have a color. Make sure to select apply, otherwise nothing will happen. This is always the primary color, in this case black. You can change it by selecting another color from the color palette. A material can also be selected from a drop down list. Again, select apply to see the changes. If you don't set this back to the simulation default, then this material will be used from this moment on for this particular ArtCam model. If you wish to actually see what was happening rather than a fast simulation and see the tool moving, you can do so by right clicking on the toolpath and selecting simulation control bar. This is different to the normal simulation and will give a set of controls with play and fast forward. If I select the play symbol, you will see the tool and see exactly how the machining is going to progress. I can also fast forward this if desired. Finally, if you wished, you can right click on the simulation and actually create a relief layer from it. This is useful if you are creating something that can only be done using toolpaths, for instance, texture toolpaths or fluting. 